So, I'm in love with a woman that's not my wife. Not like that. I'm in love with her voice. So, Natalie Hemby is a songwriter in Nashville that I came across a number of years ago because one of her songs was featured in a Target Christmas commercial. And I hear this commercial and like this voice, it is like, it is crazy. She's got this amazing voice. And I fall in love with it immediately and I'm Googling profusely trying to find out where I can find more of her music. And what I discover along the way is that she is a songwriter, so she's not really recording much of her own music, she is writing music for other people. So people like Miranda Lambert and Little Big Town and a bunch of other people, but she's kind of a big deal. And But she's not recording her own music actively, and I'm dying because it's her voice that I want to hear, right? So I managed to find a MySpace page, her MySpace page, this is, right? Um, that has a number of songs that I can stream, but there's no download, it's like this whole convoluted thing. So fast forward a few years, I'm at a conference with a friend in Nashville, and we get to the hotel and we pull out all of our registration stuff, and the final program is included, and the final program indicates that that night there's going to be like a singer-songwriter round where effectively there are three or four singer-songwriters. So they're each going to be singing songs and talking about kind of where they came from. And on that list is Natalie Hemby. And I am freaking out. I am losing it. Because what, what are the chances? Like, we go to the show that night and I'm just like blown away. I'm on cloud nine. This is the best thing ever. I go get my picture taken with her afterwards. It looks like this. And I tell her that, so I live in Alaska and I've been following you for a number of years and I'm mad at you because I can't get access to your music. And she says, well, give me your card. I'll send you some stuff that I've, that I've recorded. So I'm thoroughly geeked, but I'm not sure that she's really gonna follow through, right? It seems, it seems cool, like hopefully she will, but I don't know. And I wait a little while and I wait a little while longer and I'm pretty convinced that she was being very nice but um, that's, you know, she wasn't gonna be able to do the thing that she said she was gonna do. Except for she did. And after a few weeks, I get this email, a series of emails actually, that have all these tracks, tracks that I had heard before, tracks that were demos, like all this kind of like inside baseball stuff. And it's like, I felt so special that I got to hear this stuff that wasn't released to the public, that was just kind of, under the radar. The reason that I'm telling you about this is because you have the opportunity to delight somebody. You have the opportunity to go the extra mile to do something ridiculous for someone. You probably can't do it for everybody, but you can do something that will surprise a customer, maybe surprise a coworker, and you can go the extra mile and do something that they never would have expected that you would actually follow through on. What that is, I don't know, you gotta figure that out. But I promise you, it is a big deal to the people on the other end. So thank you, Natalie, one, for having an amazing voice, two, for sending me special music, and three, for finally doing what I've wanted you to do for like six or seven or eight or 10, 100 years, and recording your voice. I just, 